I couldn't fall asleep again Been overthinking all the little things I've said I'm sleep deprived almost every night And I wish that I wouldn't think instead I know the sun is up and I got things to do But I don't think I've got the energy to move And I go back to my dreams again But I shouldn't be sleeping when It's still now and I'm stuck in my bed Still now and I'm stuck in my head Cause I Staying in the same bed I need a kick start just to change this I don't want to waste a minute on the basics But it's keeping me feeling so amazing channel and welcome if you are new last two weeks i have been going through it my kids got sick then i got sick mom life was was super overwhelming it was just like never ending issues absolutely ridiculous that's why i haven't been posting i just really needed to take the time to just stop everything slow down I don't know if I had like the flu or something. I definitely had taken a COVID test and that came out negative so it wasn't that. And as you can tell I still sound sick but I am just getting back to normal. My body was aching. I was just exhausted. I didn't have any energy so like I was doing the bare minimum when it came to mom life. That's okay. I am not being hard on myself i'm not stressing about it like i did the best i could and i stopped when my body was absolutely telling me to stop and i think that's important to recognize pay attention to how you're feeling don't push yourself don't overdo it like the dishes can wait laundry can wait like everything can wait for the most part unless it's like absolutely necessary i'm back guys I'm back. I have like this annoying cough and throat situation, which if you guys have a sore throat, you lose your voice, whatever it is, it is so hard to heal when you have kids because you have to constantly repeat yourself over and over again. So I have to get to Alina's school in like an hour. I already had breakfast. I changed the sheets on everybody's bed because it's Monday and that's what we do on Mondays. We change the bed sheets. I have not worked out pretty much the entire time that I was sick. I did like two workouts, but they weren't like my normal workouts. One day I did like a nice stretching beginner friendly situation and on Friday, I finally picked up the weights. I had tried before and I just realized my body was just too weak to handle. I wasn't getting sleep and I wasn't eating that much. Like my appetite was like gone. I didn't want to do anything strenuous when I wasn't eating enough and I wasn't sleeping enough. So I finally did that on Friday with light weights and I felt pretty good. So now I'm trying to get back into the swing of things. So here's an update. The last two videos I had done was about creating healthy habits, being consistent in those habits so that can become long-term habits to help you on your fitness goals. Despite me being sick, I did pretty good. I did not complete the two weeks of tracking and walking outside and all that all the things you can go check that out if you want to see what i did i was like halfway through the second week once i got sick so when i first started i was 169 but in the video i was like 168 i weighed myself last week and i went down to 163 guys but i know that was because i was not eating because i was sick day i weighed myself again and i'm still happy with what i achieved i lost about four pounds what i was doing is working i just have to now get back on it because i got a little 
I got a little derailed because of sickness, right? Yeah, it's like I have to start all over again from scratch. Starting from scratch, guys, but that's all right. This is real life. I am never gonna fake it. I'm never gonna sugarcoat anything. Like, I'm just gonna be real with you guys. The struggle was real last week. Back and we're gonna keep it moving. And that's how you have to approach everything in life. Like, you fall down, you gotta get back up. You gotta get back up. Don't give up. Keep going. And you got this. You got this. Okay, real quick, before I start my workout, I just wanted to let you guys know that I am coming out with merch. This is one of my merch designs. It's a hoodie. It's hoodie season, guys. I like live in hoodies, and I love it. I wanted to come out with something for you guys. So I have a couple things. I was debating back and forth whether or not I wanted a company to print them or for me to do them myself. So I will be doing these myself. I made this myself. Well, I made this design myself. I actually posted this on the community tab yesterday, giving you guys a sneak peek. Don't forget to check out the community tab because I've been posting there lately, just giving you guys updates, sharing some things on there, and it's a great way for us to connect on another level. So don't forget to check that out. I didn't get more designs done. It's only gonna be a couple within the next two weeks, I'm hoping and um, it'll be available for you guys to purchase very, very soon. I'm super excited about this, and I hope you guys love it. Let's get into this workout. to do what I want to do before I leave to go to Alina's school. Um, I have to wash my hair today so I can't even take a shower now. So I'm just freshening myself up. Not that I really like sweated a whole lot. We're not gonna be at the school very long. So it has early dismissal today, which I totally forgot about because Thanksgiving this week. And my husband went to go get gas, so I have a few moments. Um, I do want to say if you are on your fitness journey or just trying to maintain a healthier lifestyle, have healthier habits, and you find yourself that you fall off or you're just so exhausted, you get sick, whatever the case may be, just remember that it's okay to take a rest. Your body needs that to recover. Your body needs that to keep going forward. Mental health as well as your physical health. If you want to try to stay on track with, with your goals while you're sick, things I suggest are to get some rest, drink lots of water, just try to throw in healthy foods whenever you can. So like for instance, for me, I didn't have much of an appetite. And so I always try to start my day off with at least a healthy breakfast. And then throughout the day, I just ate whatever. It, it was minimal, sometimes fruit, soup, bread, whatever it was. I just really didn't feel hungry. After a few days, I tried to at least get two full 
meals in, making sure I get some type of protein. But I really didn't like stick to anything in particular. I just made sure that I was hydrated and that I ate. And most of all, I let my body rest. Being in bed all day long is not really good for your body. It's important to get up every now and then, stretch your body, walk around your house, and then go lay down. You have to overdo it. This is not the time to push yourself to exercise or anything like that. If you want to stretch, go ahead and stretch. Um, just get up every now and then. And that's all I did. Like, I did the bare minimum. I put on my Apple Watch because I didn't want to be focusing on my steps because if I wasn't eating, I don't need to be uh, checking in on my steps. It's not necessary because I'm barely eating. That all goes out the window. Take it easy and do what your body tells you, what your body needs. Anyways, I have to get out of here. I'll be back for lunch. I am back. We stopped at Target and we had to open these babies up in the parking lot. My son saw them and was going crazy. And I am going to have me another one. I had one on the way here because I did not have a post-workout snack. I went to my daughter's class and I had a sugar cookie. Look. The class made sugar cookies. They decorated sugar cookies for Thanksgiving. So I had one in support of the kiddos. Not really sit well in my tummy, but I did it for the kids now. So I'm having my favorite protein bars because they have them in Target now. It's so hard to find these in the stores. So normally I find these on Amazon. I get the minis because it's perfect for my kids. My kids love these bars. 80 calories with 8 grams of protein. This is my second one. So 160 calories total, 16 grams of protein. It's something. I'll put the link from Amazon down in the description box. I've been linking like all my favorite stuff in every video. So you will see these on there if you want to get them on Amazon because it's hard to find them in the stores. I had to get diapers, diapers, wipes, in the Target dollar section. We saw this cup. I have a lot of cute things for the holidays right now. Little gifts, little stocking stuffers, things like that. That I definitely want to get the kids. But my son is really into Mickey Mouse right now. And so he saw this cup. Granted, he probably won't really be able to drink from this, but super cute, only $3. I had to get him a new baby wash. He has super sensitive skin. He's had baby eczema on and off. It's like, he was a newborn. And so I got this Shea Moisture Baby Wash and Shampoo for delicate skin, made with 100% virgin coconut oil. And um, yeah, I'm gonna use this for his baths. I have to start separating the kids during bath time because Alina likes bubble baths and body wash, and those are just not good for his skin. So I'm gonna have to start giving them separate baths. And I'm gonna use this. I also got an eczema cream um, a couple weeks ago um, from the Honest brand. And so I've been using that on him, but I definitely have to like do a whole night to nighttime routine now that winter's coming and his skin is just getting more dried out. I'll wash my hair and then have lunch. So, so good. I made the meatballs myself. Mm -hmm. I'm not really one to make meatballs. These are turkey meatballs. And I made them with lean ground turkey. 
a few seasonings, um, egg, some breadcrumbs, and some Parmesan cheese. Very simple. Threw them in the oven, and then I cooked them a little bit in the pasta sauce. So yummy. This meal is a little bit more higher in calories and carbs because of the pasta, but that's all right. I did legs today, so I tried to um, do a little more carbs. I'm not really tracking my meals though. I'm just like mentally doing it today. Just easing my way back into the routine. So these are the noodles I used yesterday. These are the Barilla brand protein spaghetti. And you guys, these taste literally like regular spaghetti, maybe even better. My kids love them, everybody loves them. They're not like the chickpea ones, like the banzo ones that you can kind of tell there's something a little different about them. These are really good. 10 grams of protein per serving. Normally, I pick a pasta sauce that's like um, a little lower in calories and a little more cleaner, like less ingredients. But this is the one I used yesterday, probably because I got it on sale somewhere. And um, this is really good. It tastes really yummy. I really wasn't trying to like measure because I made it for the whole family. Um, really good, really tasty. And so I'm going to finish this. I didn't have any greens with this because honestly, I don't really feel like having veggies today. Yeah. But I'm gonna have this and then I'm gonna have my greens superfood powder later because I didn't have it this morning. So I'm having my greens drink. I feel so good today. Like, I feel like I didn't really miss any time. And it's so important to like, get back into your routine, treat your body right, give yourself time to rest and recover. And then also like eat better over the weekend i started getting my appetite back and i started just munching munching on whatever was here i allowed myself the weekend to just munch whenever i felt like it but today i got back to it and i just feel so much better i feel like if i continued on i feel like i would have felt really crappy today and i noticed when i fall off with my nutrition healthy habits my stomach is upset i just feel sluggish i really don't feel good about myself like i want to take care of my body now as i get older like things change within your body it's inevitable as you age and i just want to start taking care of myself now because let's face it in a lot of our families there's health issues right health concerns like in my family there's diabetes and lots of other things i feel like the generation before us like they didn't do all the things that we're doing now self-care exercise eating healthy like there's just so many changes and so many things that we haven't learned over the years that i feel like we have to start being proactive in living healthier lifestyles is not about eating salads and eating just vegetables all the time it's about choosing to make healthier habits and also enjoying the things that you like the things that you eat doing things that are enjoyable for yourself so that it can be long term so that it can be sustainable if it's not sustainable you're gonna hate it you're not gonna enjoy it you are just going through the motions and it's just not gonna stick with you this is an ongoing journey for me i have looked at health and wellness so differently after having my second child if that's it for this video i just want to encourage you to do your best every day do your best no matter what happened yesterday if you woke up today then you have another opportunity to be 
a better version of yourself. I hope you guys have a happy Thanksgiving. Enjoy this time with your family and friends, whoever you spend the holidays with. Life is short. You have to enjoy your time with your loved ones and be present in the moment. Thank you so much again for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.